Do you know about this matrix diagram in architecture? Hello, welcome to my channel Decode Arch. In this part, we want to talk about an essential diagram for any architect's student. We should be produce this diagram. So before and previous and any improve your idea, any improve your, for example, and develop your concept in this architecture, in this design, in this any execute plan. On the other hand, I want to read this article about a matrix diagram. It's a very give me a good information about this matter. A matrix diagram in architects are a tool used to analyze and visualize complex relationship and the connection within a design project. They are a valuable method for architects and designers to organize, access, and communicate various aspects of the building or urban design. You see this in this part and the matrix diagram uh, create a relationship with the other student, uh, other architects, not the student actually, uh, other architects and with a stakeholder and owner building. These are attention to diagram is has a very useful for every plan for example you should be defined and space you should be you can show to uh, your owner your customer with a relationship to others uh, space and a place create a what what you want to for example how do you and um, create the space and how do you connection with the other space these are a very question that you should be defined just with diagram attention to matrix diagram so has a standpoint has a for example a key point for you, you should be about that one of these uh, important key point in a uh, matrix your attention to the matrix diagram is proposed matrix diagram serve as a visual uh, representation of how different element or component within a project relate to each other so for example as i mentioned that uh matrix theorem defined and uh, exact defined and relationship to the two space uh, they are used to understand that uh, connection between a various design parameters such as a space function material and environment consideration okay material one of the another item that uh, defined with the matrix theorem it's a very useful it's a very amazing for architect that with the matrix theorem you can arrive that a uh, defined exact idea that previous the execute plan one of the uh, important item that you should be attention in the create matrix diagram is a uh, component in the matrix diagram the different design elements are listed along both the horizontal and vertical axis for example two parameters we should be attention that in the matrix diagram. for example define and communication the vertical define and communication the horizontal because for example uh, in the one floor has a kitchen a living room and for example washroom how do you wanna and uh, create a relationship between them it's a very important for every architect every designer especially a stakeholder or owner or customer or builder uh, these elements can be a specific room function building system or any other relevant aspect of the project so i said that and you should be just attention in the matrix diagram between a relationship to other space the first part of this video i took it about this matter that a matrix a diagram when you want to and execute in your plan should be observed and several item that you should be attention that the, on the other hand on the other plan a key point that you should be attention and observe it component I, I said about component and relationship the intersection within the matrix theorem show and relationship between the elements okay between the elements what elements what do you mean of elements elements in the uh, for example intersection section okay for example every section and give you information about the design for example and the first floor and you put a washroom in the second floor you should be uh, above that a uh, washroom uh, the first uh, floor you put that for example a room main room bedroom the matrix diagram you should be uh, defined that uh, how do you uh, for example organize two space uh, in the vertical diagram architect you symbols color and uh, numerical value to indicate the stranger or type of relationship okay i know that a strong positive relationship might be represented by a solid line i know i, I don't know that uh, what do i explain about this matter 
because uh, for example when you start and analyze and organize a matrix diagram you should be uh, in the subconsciousness and do that uh, well a weak relationship might be represented by a toted line okay toted line d-o-t-t-e-d -T -T -E line okay uh we want to move forward to another item that analysis is a very future of matrix diagram when you want to and uh, for example uh, execute this your plan has a profit for you profit for your customer profit for everything because it's the cost estimate you have a uh, uh, responsibility about a uh, cost estimate for example ever uh, deter of every detrimental thing in this uh, process of design analyze matrix theorem help architects analyze how change or decision in one aspect of the design can impact other aspect for example if you change the layout of the rooms in the building how does it affect the flow on people the use and natural light or the efficiency to heating and cooling system wow it's a very amazing parameter when you want to attention it for example analyze and with this uh, matrix diagram for example how do you want to measure impact of your subject how do you want to measure impact with this matrix diagram how do you uh, uh, sorry uh, with these architects measure impact on this for example people that use this room use this for example a living room with this color how do you want to organize your light how do you want to organize your color uh, wall how do you want to organize so everything these are a duty of matrix theorem the previous executive your plan you should be thinking about this matter Thanks for watching this video. We showed uh, five parameters. Yes, yeah, show no four parameters. Sorry, four parameters about a uh, matrix theorem in architecture. It's a very vital for every student's architects. That I promise you, if you observe it in your previous executor plan, a major impact of your stakeholder design. And for example, in the future, you will find uh, you will find a great and organized and uh, for example find an efficiency a diagram plan it's a very amazing for you that uh, you should be uh, use of these tools if you like this video uh, subscribe our channel under this video and share us about your opinion i'm very interested that hear your opinion about this matrix diagram thanks for watching see you soon later